Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to Global Traveler, your best resource hub for immigration and travel. In today's video, I'd like to talk about how to travel to the UK using conferences and events. Now, ordinarily, what people do when they want to travel is that they tend to look out for a friend or a relative who is in the UK or other Western countries to send them invitations and um, for them to use that invitation to apply for their visas. But I'm here to show you guys that you can travel to the UK um, not knowing anybody. In fact, you can travel to most of these Western countries, not just the UK, uh, but most of these Western countries um, just using conferences and events. There are so many reasons why people travel and going to see family and friends alone is not just the only reason. You know, people travel uh, for business purposes and events and conferences and exhibitions are also top on the list for the reasons why people travel to the UK. And so what I'll say is that sometimes it pays to, you know, take a step back and use this strategy, which in my opinion offers a higher probability of securing a visa than, you know, relying on a friend or a relative, you know, sometimes it's disturbing them to give you an invite to visit the UK. So essentially this involves finding a conference that you are interested, finding a conference that aligns with your profession or your career and then applying or registering to attend uh, these conferences. So in the crust of this video, what we are going to talk about is number one, how to actually find the conferences that you would be interested in attending and then how to register this for these conferences. Then we will look at using your registration to apply for your visit visa to the UK and how to structure your application to ensure that you um, get the visa that you're looking for. So first of all, where can I find conferences like this in the UK to attend? So here we are. The name of the website is 10times.com. <laughs> it's a very funny name, but it's one of the most fantastic websites that lists almost every event in the world. Um, it's a website packed with a lot of activity, lots of um, events all over but what I love is the ability to filter to whatever events that you are interested so you can uh, browse events by city you can browse events by country and um, at the very top here if I scroll to the top here you can browse by categories so there's education and training medical and pharma IT business services science and research and uh, the arrow gives you more Banking and finance, uh, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Construction, power and energy, agriculture, and so much more. Fashion and beauty, and so much more. So let's just go with an example. Um, let's pick environment and waste. And we, when we click environment and waste, usually when you see events with, you know, this uh, purple star here. Uh, sorry, this orange star here. <laughs> It means that they are big big time events and sometimes these events that are listed on the sites um, it says here premium events you can see that these are very huge events um, that draw a lot of people from all across the world and these are some of the events that you should be looking at um, events with reputation or events that are popular so that when you um, send your application um, you have the high probability of you know being given because it's a credible conference or it's a credible event that you are trying to attend and so we are looking at the united kingdom and so by location we can go down and choose the united kingdom over here and so all the conferences that we have now um, here are conferences um, in, from the united kingdom we can on the left hand side we can also filter by cities as you can see over here and yes the category is still here if we come to the very top we can see there's calendar so we can filter and choose the month that we want or the month that we are planning to you know we are looking for a conference date in a certain month so that we travel in that month we can look for conferences in specific months so let's look at september and see what comes up from our filtering so here we go communicating sustainability 
in Glasgow. And when I do look out for conferences, um, one of the things I like to do is look out for conferences that span over two to three days, um, just so that it justifies you know spending a couple of days in that particular city. So I am scrolling down, looking for very high-profile conference that I can attend. This looks, um, this is a popular one. Um, I know several people who have, including myself, who have been to this um, exhibition. So we can try this one. So it's a recycling and waste management exhibition in Birmingham, also a very, a very big city in the United Kingdom. So we can go ahead and look at this conference. And what and why I know that this is a big conference, not just not just because I've been there, is when you take a look at the top here, it gives you an idea about the type of conference this is. You look at the followers, the number of followers here, you look at the number of exhibitors, uh the speakers, you know, the reviews and the photos and all that. But we'll be visiting the, the conference's website or the exhibition's website very soon. But this is just to give you a brief idea about what a conference is about it's being held in birmingham from the 14th to the 15th of september um this is an overview of the conference it is uk's largest recycling and resource resource and waste management expo and so if you're in the space of environment um waste management recycling you know green stuff then this is you know one conference for you so when you scroll down it will give you the details about the conference when it opens when it's expected to be opened and if you're going to pay for a ticket and also you know the official links to the um, conferences website so there's a link here that we're going to click and go to the website sometimes when you click on the link and it doesn't take you straight to the website what i usually do is that i copy the name of the exhibition or the, or the conference or the event and open a Google tab and then paste it in and then just do a quick search and you can see it pops up over here I head straight to the exhibition or the conferences website and then I'm able to read more about it but it says here register for a free ticket and then I click on register here and go through the registration process for a free ticket luckily this is a very prestigious um, event and it's free to attend so i'll register i'll get my pass and then i will use this pass to apply for my visa okay so now we have our conference registered for we found an a good and a credible conference that we want to attend in the uk how will we proceed with our visa application and so i just want to put give you a few pointers and some things to note down um, when you are applying for your visa that you know it's it's critical to your application i think that the first of all is how you present your personal profile you need to give um, as much information as possible about yourself on the form of course it will ask you for specific information but you need to um, fill in all that details but the part that i'm concerned about is what you do and how you present um, yourself and so like i said earlier whatever conference it is that you choose and you want to attend it is imperative that it aligns with um, your career or your profession or whatever it is that you are involved in even if you are self-employed it is important to find something that aligns with um, a conference that aligns with what you are involved in and to be able to register for that particular conference so for example if you are an employee one of the things that you need to note on your application is you need to state your role your position and then what your role entails or what you do you need to be as clear as possible now from there one of the areas that is of concern to the uk embassy that you need to give information about is how much you earn and your finances and so one of the questions you are going to be asked is how much you earn at the end of the month. Now, before I go any further, it's important that I give you a heads up and say that if you want to use a conference or an event to travel, ideally, you should have proof of funds to show that you can support yourself um, for this conference. And this will be in the form of a bank statement. 
Now, the way the embassies assess this is that they try to match how much you earn a month and how much you have in savings and how much you spend on your family if you have dependents and try to see if the amount you have saved in your bank account can cover the cost of your trip. And so it's important that you have a bank account that can support your travel. Now, one of the surest ways to get around this head or is if your company decides or buys into the idea of sponsoring your conference or your event trip, or if you own a company or you have your own company, then you can present the bank statement of your company alongside your personal bank statement and state on the application form that your company will be sponsoring your trip. This way, if your company has enough funds in its bank account, then that shouldn't be a problem because then the company would be as stated on your application form the one sponsoring your trip. Now, what brings me to the point that you will be asked who will be sponsoring your trip and if you were going on the trip by yourself then you need to state that you are the financier of the trip and then you would have to give details of how much the trip potentially will cost you so on average you need to find out how much um, a plane ticket is going to cost how much your accommodation is going to cost you make an estimate and how much you know your expenses for the few days you are going to be there will cost and then put that on put that together and put it on the application form now, there are some key documents that you need to add to your application to ensure that you have a solid case and uh, reduce the chances of being denied a visa. So the first thing you need to add is proof of your employment or proof that you own a business. And so if you're an employee, you would need your bank statement, your personal bank statement showing how much you earn every month. If you also have a bank account showing how much you have in savings, that's also great. You would need your pay slips. You would also need your appointment letter. You would need an introductory letter from your company stating that you will be traveling to the United Kingdom to attend this particular event. If you are the owner of your own business, then maybe you should have your administrator or personal assistant with a stamp from your company or your business. And also importantly, remember to add your ticket registration from the conference. One thing that I would like to talk about separately is proof of arranged accommodation. And in this case, you need to provide address of where you'll be staying for the conference. I would not advise you use the address of a friend or a relative in the UK for this. I highly recommend going on to a hotel website and making a reservation in your name. The good thing is that you do not have to pay for this and I'll show you how. So you can head off to booking.com and here is booking.com and find hotels which are in the area where the conference is being held. And so here we are going to search for Birmingham and if you look if you looked on the conference website it said birmingham neck and then you choose your conference date which will be from the 14th to the 15th um, change this to one adult if you're two then you go ahead and do that and then hit search and then there we have it you will have rooms here ready to book what i like to do is when i when i come to this section i like to tick free cancellation and this will ensure that we can we can make a reservation but we will not pay for it immediately and then we can cancel it in case we do not need it and so when you come here it's all the results are showing um, no prepayments needed free cancellation so you can cancel later yeah so we can just go ahead with one hilton birmingham metropole hotel it's just 35 years from the neck where the event is going to be held so let's look at availability so once this opens up we can go ahead and check the hotel out look at all the pictures and see if it's something that we we'll like and then scroll down here and then make a reservation so we're going to choose one of the rooms make sure to choose um, a room which has all the information here saying when we can cancel it and that there will be no uh, prepayment needed so if this is what we're looking at then we can come here select one room and our reserve and once you click on the our reserve you can go ahead and fill in all your information and then finalize your reservation uh, mind you at the very final stage it will require you to input the details of your 
debit card or your credit card but you will not be charged for it it's just to lock in the reservation so once you are able to finish with a reservation the information of your reservation will be sent to your email address and then you can use the address of the hotel in your visa application because it's very likely that embassy will verify your booking from the hotel and that's it basically so once all this information is filled out be also sure to state on your application form that you intend to only visit this conference for this number of days and once you are done you will return to your home country all right a simple guide in uh, how to use conferences and events to secure a visa to the uk if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment section below thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye <music>